So my daughter said, before she went to school this morning, she was like, Mom, can we go look at houses today? And I was like, when? And she was like, after school, don't come over to school. And I'm like, in my mind, I say, I don't know, we'll see. But it's a reminder because today is Tuesday. Yesterday, I started looking at houses again. I stopped. I was looking at houses last year, 2022, from like February to like May, June. And then I stopped because every time I found, like I had found the perfect house for me and my family. And although I did, it just like, I'm not, it, it just didn't feel right, I guess in a sense. Like you know when it's right, even though you found the right thing, like perfect five bedrooms, basement, perfect neighborhood, a brand new, new construction house to rent. Rent was good price everything but I just gave up and so that kind of put me down because it was like as I was looking I felt like everything around me was just going down nothing was lining up nothing was aligning and so I didn't apply like I didn't move forward me and my husband wasn't on the same page but you know I even took my kids like me and my family we would go and I went to this neighborhood probably over 10 times because it was just ideal but it didn't feel perfect. So, and I looked at other houses and then I just stopped looking because I still felt like everything around me was still falling apart. And so I just didn't want to look anymore because I felt like, why am I looking when nothing aligns with what I'm looking at? And I just stopped. But something within me lately has sparked again. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to start looking again, regardless of what my bank account looks like, my financial situation looks like, you know, regardless of what things look like around me. Because God had to remind me that, like, when he moved me and my family to Georgia two and a half years ago, it looked exactly the same. But when you feel that unction like again to start moving by faith even though nothing around you aligns this time you gotta go bigger with your faith you know like you can't be on the same level of faith that you had when god did it for you before like you have to like big up your faith for real like you gotta go to a whole nother level so from me just you know finding us an apartment um when we first moved here and moving by faith, no money to move, like not knowing how things were going to line up, but everything fell into place and we knew it was it. And so now I'm like, Lord, I want a five bedroom house. I need a basement. I need a garage. I would prefer new construction to lease it. I don't want the rent to be no more than $2,500 and stuff like that. And I had found that house when I was looking last year, but it just didn't, it was something very much something <laughs> that wasn't lining up and I think it was a lot of the fact that like my husband wasn't on board he wasn't like yeah let's do it you know like even a move by faith situation he just I don't like it was just a lot of different things that I felt like but it taught me a lesson because now that I'm looking again and I try to look at apartments like I try to find four bedroom apartments and trying to like settle myself into looking at something that I know I really don't want and God is like okay no if this is how you're gonna start looking then no you're not ready and so even townhomes and think like I could find a nice townhouse or town but that's still not it like I have a desire for a house for my children with a big yard and you know, neighborhood roads where they can go out and ride their bikes and we can go for walks and basement and my older kids can now get their own bedrooms. Like so many different things that I desire, but I keep trying to look for what fits my lack of belief right now. It's like I have the faith, but I want to look according to what my situation, my current situation look like around me and not look according to the heavens, okay? <laughs> so, 
I'm going to take my daughter. I haven't even found a place to go look at, but she was like, can we go look at houses? They'll be home in like 45 minutes. And I intentionally did my pickup later today for groceries. Cause I'm like, okay, she, she asked to go look so we can go look. And you know, another thing is like, we go look. And I, I'm always telling my kids like, we're gonna move. Just wait, we're gonna move. We're gonna, you're gonna get your own bedroom, especially my oldest daughter, she's nine. And she just want her own room so bad and she deserves it. And she's at that place where she's like independent and she just wants to have her own space. And, and I get that. And so she's the main one who is always talking about let me put it like this god will always use her to remind me to like get back up because it's no coincidence that yesterday i was looking and i had a plan to go look at a home but when i looked at how far it was i was like oh my god that's an hour away from 30 one was 35 minutes and one was an hour away from where we live right now and i'm just like oh god i don't want to go that far I like these houses, but I don't want to go that far. <laughs> so, and that was the same situation with the house that I found that was perfect for us last year. And it, they were actually t about 20 minutes away from us, which is way shorter than 35 and an hour away. So I'm just like, Lord, what do I do? I'm looking. And I got out of my mind because I remember the Holy Spirit told me to start looking, like look for a house. And I did that, like I did that, like, but it was just like, nothing was lining up. So I'm assuming that even though it was perfect, it was new construction, it was around the price range that I said, it had everything that I asked for, it was like, no, that's not it. And so, I remember I spoke with someone and she told me, somebody I love dearly, she told me, she said, you, you look, uh, what did she say? Hold on. Okay, so she said, you look, oh, it's going to come to me. She said, you look, you something, but you don't lock in. Oh, she, I think she said, you look, you like, but you don't lock in. And, I, and that was so good because she was like, you know, we can look at something and then we like it so much. We're just locked in on it and we close up our minds to being open to anything else because we have pretty much fell in love with something and we're not willing to look anywhere else. And so she, she was like, you look like, but don't lock in. That keeps your mind open. And so I locked in to this particular neighborhood in this house. And even though I had looked at a lot of other neighborhoods where the homes were new construction, they were kind of far out, but by the same like construction company. And so I locked in and man, I, I probably for a week, month, like at least two months, I was riding through that neighborhood at least two or three times a week because I had locked in. So that makes it worse when it doesn't work out because you've locked into something. And I gave up because my hopes failed. Like I felt like, God, I found what I had been asking for, but apparently this ain't it. <laughs> so, I'm going to start looking again, and I'm not going to lock in, and I'm not going to let location be something that stifles, like, limits me either. Location, yeah, I'm not going to let location stop me. I don't know why I feel like I'm share, I should share this, because it could be a right on time message for you right in your season, your life, your moment. It's like... You know you want something bigger, but your faith is not there. And so, yeah, or you know you had locked in 
on something and it didn't work out the way that you thought, so you gave up. And now it's time for you to press go again, like you, you start going again. And another thing that had me is because where we live in an apartment right now, the apartment complex is not that great, but the area we live in is amazing. It's ideal, but it's not. And let me tell you why. So, no, it's ideal. It's just the homes, there's nothing for rent around here where we live. This, this, this area. Home ownership is all it is right in this area, surrounding area where we're at. So to find what I want for my family requires us to drive 20 minutes. 30 minutes out to find a home. It gets rural, like it becomes rural area and not um, city anymore. So I guess where we live right now, you would really consider to be suburbs. I never knew what suburbs really was because I'm from like a rural place in Florida. So all I know is woods and trees and I don't live close to the city. Um, but I guess this is what would be considered suburb. This is where we live. So my kids are like, why can't we just go get a house? And I'm like, because we don't have over a half a million dollars to purchase a home right now. <laughs> and plus, I just feel like these, they're really cookie cutter neighborhoods with no yard and every house looks exactly the same. And that's not what I want either. I never like riding through a neighborhood where every single house looks the same. And you live in this deed restricted neighborhood where you can't do anything to your house. Not saying that I want to like paint my house pink, you know, but you can't do anything. I never wanted to live in a neighborhood like that either. Because I, I didn't grow up like that. <laughs> I guess like if I'm paying over a half a million dollars for a house, it's like I want to be able to do what I want to do to my house. So I know that this is not where we're going to live. And the part that sucks about it is that my kids got here and they, uh, they thrived in school and relationships and friendships and you know, my son is like in middle school and this is like a pivotal time for him with his relationships and friendships and sports and all of these things. It just feels ideal. And that's how you lock in. That's how I'm locking in. And I'm really, uh, it's a fight. And I'm praying to God every day like, Lord, I don't want to limit myself because I'm locking into this area where we live. I'm locking into this area where we live because it's very convenient and I have so many reasons why I can stick to the convenience. You know, like we have one very stable vehicle <laughs> and everything is right around the corner, right down the road and stuff like this. And I guess I'm like that too, because where we live in Florida, it was like, if we wanted to even go to a Starbucks, we had like two Starbucks. And we had to drive on either side of town. So it's gonna, it was going to take me at least 15 to 20 minutes. I say 15-ish. Between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on the traffic, to get to either one of these Starbucks. That was my place where me and my family was living right before we moved. But when where I grew up at, at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes to go to Starbucks. And it was either I'm going this way or that like and now I could be at Starbucks in like less than five minutes where I live and then I got like a Starbucks here and a Starbucks there and Starbucks there I got a Whole Foods I got all types of situations right hmm so it's the locking in of the convenience my three year olds like let's go get in the car and buy some ice cream <laughs> we just supposed to up and go but um, yeah, so locking into the convenience of where we live right now too is like limiting me as well. But I'm like, okay, we need the space. We came here to this three bedroom apartment, which is very nice, but the complex sucks, the management sucks. Some of the people out here that is not that great. And the space, you know, we came here, we had another baby which has tended to be a thing for us. We move, we have a baby, we move, we have a baby, but in Jesus' name, <laughs> that's not happening no more. Um, 
Maybe that's why God is getting this next one out the way right now. Thank you, Lord, for your will, your plan. Um, but I, I love the area we're in, but it's dangerous to lock into something and put limits on yourself. You put limits on your faith. You put limits. It's like, Lord, I don't want to move from here. And it's like, in a sense, I get why people in my apartment complex has been here for 10 plus years. Like, people in my building, first of all, I had to say the devil is a liar because I wanted to make sure this is not a spiritual thing in this building, we, this, our building. Because our neighbors have been here. 10 plus years and then we have neighbors that have moved out of this complex and now come back to this complex um but our neighbors next door to us has been here like 12 years downstairs they just moved because they were forced to move they have been here eight plus years down next to them 13 years across from her 13 plus years across y'all across 13 plus years and then downstairs And so, a lot of lessons came out of locking in when I shouldn't have. Because I just never know, I will never know what the opportunities are, what God has for me. But it also, if I'm not moving because I've lost hope and lost faith and, lo and don't believe anymore, I can't. Like, God, it's just like, girl, I can't do nothing with you either. So when you do move, you move how you want. And then, we, and then you don't move, I can't do nothing still. So what, what are we doing? So I say all that to say, when my daughter gets home, we're going to go look at something. I don't know what. The Lord will lead us. Because in all honesty, I'm just like, I don't want to look right now. Even though I start, I looked at something yesterday. And I looked in a city that I was like, no, I really don't want to go there. And then I'm just like, Lord, I'm in the middle of a lease, which doesn't matter. You can break leases at any time. A lot of people feel like they're just locked into a lease and you're not. Um, so release yourself. <laughs> um, I'm like, Lord, I'm in the middle of a lease. Summer is coming. I really don't want to come back here for the next school term because I'm planning on, you know, just talking to God. I'm just like, I plan, I want to homeschool my kids, but I want to be in this area. Um, but limiting myself is just like, it's not, it's not, it's not the best. When you lock in, you limit. When you lock yourself into your own desires you limit yourself because in all honesty god is like you don't even know what you want girl you don't really know what you want i know what you need but you don't know what you want <laughs> so we're gonna go look uh-uh what you gotta do poop okay that's my cue to go y'all <laughs>